At 10, Canyon ISD is holding a special meeting Thursday night to discuss and vote on allowing certain employees to possess firearms on campus. News Channel 10's Paige Stockton joins us with details about how other districts around the Panhandle have adopted similar policies in their schools. Districts around the Panhandle, such as Dalhart ISD, Channing, Claude, and Sanford Fritch, have allowed the possession of firearms on their campuses. School boards must vote the policy in, allowing certain employees to carry firearms on campus. In most school districts, we require that the applicants that we're going to let carry, they have to do an L3 screening and a psychological evaluation, which is the same thing somebody working for a police department or going to work for a sheriff's department would want to do. Many schools say a lack of police, distance of first responders in their small districts, and a lack of funds have led them to implement the Guardian program. We are so rural, we do not have access to law enforcement immediately. Um, there's probably about a 15 minute um, period of time before somebody could respond if they were not in Channing. The superintendent at Dalhart ISD says that the number one priority used to be education, but now the number one priority is staff and student safety. This is my 32nd start to my 32nd school year, and even 20 years ago I would have never dreamed that we would be responsible for protecting our students with firearms, and it's just the world we live in. Many of the districts around the Panhandle that have implemented the firearms policy must do extensive trainings and evaluations before allowing employees to carry on campus. Canyon ISD will vote on implementing this for their district tomorrow night at 6 at the Canyon ISD District Support Center. We will be at the meeting and we'll make sure to update you with their decision. Reporting in studio, Paige Stockton, News Channel 10.